This is the Patient Zeros, and you're listening to the Literati Records Podcast. You're going about it wrong Just let me impress These words serve to imagine the truth From ashes to earn The spark and the burn Were inspired by The victimized host Who thinks it's a joke He'll wait for a turn At the back while he learns Disconcerting A count of his quote Broken guitar is breaking So full of love I have a habit of taking Too much Polycardiac in the making I've navigated The hand that was shaking in the Midwest his glove of a state has knuckles and nails and an audience too Easy to exaggerate Too easy to ride into the play But the way they came is this way and The heartbroken kid's heart is breaking So full of love I have a habit of taking Too much Polycardiac in the making episode 74 of the Literati Records podcast. I'm your host Marcus and I want to thank you for tuning in, turning on, and supporting independent music. 
As I mentioned on yesterday's show, the Patient Zeros have a new EP out today called Epicardiac. It contains three tracks from their 2013 album Polycardiac, completely re-recorded from scratch, and one brand new track titled Sigh. The guys were kind enough to let us drop a track a day early on our local mix show, and they returned to the show today as our featured guest to get us caught up on the new EP, upcoming tour plans, and the release show tonight at the High Dive. But first, a quick sweep through the housekeeping before we get into our interview. Still no word from our $100 monthly cash giveaway winner, and at this point in the month, I don't think we're going to hear from him. But, if you haven't listened in a while, you've signed up for our email list, and you're wondering if it's you, well, go listen to the last week's episodes and find out. Now, if on the other hand, you're wondering how you can get in on next month's $100 cash giveaway, visit our website at www.literatirecords.com, click on the giveaway link, and get registered. Of course, there are a few rules and guidelines for winning listed on the page, so be sure to look those over as well. While you're there, use the links to connect with us on Facebook and Twitter, or just drop us an email to literati at literatirecords.com and let us know what you think or suggest an artist for us to check out. I don't mention it enough, but if you are in a band and have a clearly recorded track and would like to submit it for consideration on our Local Mix Monday episodes, you can use the artist submission form on our website. You heard a track from Orfeo and the Wrench a couple weeks ago, and next month you'll hear tracks from The Circus House and Adrian O., all of whom submitted music through our website. We'd love to hear from you too, so don't be afraid to reach out and let us know who you are. Alright, I think that does it for the housekeeping. Next up are the Patient Zeros, making a return appearance to the show to get us caught up on their latest release, the Epicardiac EP. So without further delay, I bring you the Patient Zeros. I'm down here in the rehearsal space of C.J. Cole Heat and Joe Schramm, better known as the Patient Zeros, where they just let me preview their new EP that's coming out tonight. Actually, it might be up on Bandcamp already, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Well, congrats on that new EP. It's always exciting to release new music. Can you tell us more about the music on the new EP? Yeah, certainly. Um, We had, after we started playing uh, out a lot live in the past year, we a lot of the songs really changed shape, changed form from the from the way they were recorded on the album. And uh, we decided to take some of the best of those and just uh, some of the ones that have changed the most and record alternate versions of them. So Cardiactomy, for instance, is pretty sparse on the album. We decided to make it a really full band, full blown, overblown <laughs> rocker right. on the EP. Um, just tried to make things a little more dynamic, a little more explosive. Yeah, and then we have uh, one song on there called Sigh that uh, ties in lyrically and thematically and musically to the whole album, but just didn't make the cut. So I guess sort of a B-side, if you will. It's a good track, too. Now, the name of the new EP is... Epicardiac? Epicardiac. Yeah. Kind of a play on the polycardiac from yeah. the, the first full length? Yes. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Trying to keep things tied together. Exactly. Where did you guys record the EP? Uh, right here. <laughs> except except for the space? Yeah, yeah except yeah. for the drums. We recorded at Module Overload Studios, uh, which is our friend Jamie Hillier's uh, studio in Arvada. Mm-hmm. Arvada, right? Aurora. 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 Yeah, down Aurora. Just one of the A-Burbs. Five and six. Yeah, he's got a space down there. It's the same place Drifters recorded there. Yep. They just yeah. Recorded there too. Yeah. Awesome. He found a sweet spot right off the end of this just warehouse rental place. He has literally like no neighbors, fully padded walls, huge ceilings. Everything sounds great in there. I mean, yeah. he's got some really good gear. So, right yeah, we recorded one of the songs from the album um, in his basement where he was set up before previously. And he was always talking about moving to this location where he is now. So we said that the next thing we do, we're going to come back to you and check it out. So. Yeah, that's what we did for the EP, and I mean, personally speaking, really happy with the way the drums came out. I mean, mm-hmm. He has some microphones that were just out of this world. This one crushed Mike. We got a lot of effects out of, which was really cool. So, yeah, yeah, he did us a solid on that one. It was it was a lot of fun recording with him. Yeah, if you hear a couple moments in the EP where it sounds like maybe John Bonham's spirit is back there behind the drum set, that is owed both to the fact that Joe has like a 22-inch kick or 26-inch <laughs> or 35-inch kick or whatever. <laughs> And also the fact that Jamie just really knows how to make a room. Well, now, you just released your first full-length polycardiac a few months ago. 
Why did you release this EP so soon after? Just you felt like you had more to express from some of those songs? Yeah, basically because we could, because it was done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to. Just don't want to wait anymore. And we want to want to get recording on the next album sometime soon, hopefully. So just rather than put a whole bunch of space between projects, just wanted to get stuff out there as quick as we could. Keep the momentum up. Mm-hmm. It's an idea we've been we've been kind of brewing up for some time now. So the idea, the, the arrangement of the songs, everything is always it's, we've all been kind of thinking about it for a while. And as the songs developed, when we started playing them together live, you know, the just the kind of its own little theme was created. And yeah, I mean, from just. From listening to the, just the initial mixes, it sounds like you know there's already its own theme. Like I said, we had a little something to do with that. We you know, had a little bit of vision there, but you know you never know which, how it's really going to come out in the end. Exactly. And I think we're both pretty happy with this stuff. By the way, it's come along. Well, I think it captures a lot more of your live energy, maybe than yeah. than uh, Polycardiac did initially. That was something we talked about too. Was was because the album is so different from the live show. Maybe put something out that that's a little more of the, what people can expect. Because I've talked to a couple people that said they listened to the album first, and then when they came to see it, it was just, you know, the reaction was different. It was, you know, it wasn't what they were expecting. Not to say that's a bad thing. But just the energy was mm-hmm. different. Yeah, yeah. I could agree with that. Mm-hmm. But yes, yeah, so already looking forward to the next thing, the next album. Well, you have a release party tonight. Can you fill us in on the details for that? Yeah, I've got a couple of friends' bands coming out. Uh, Gravity t- Tapes is opening up the show. We got to see that. I got to see them for the first time in July, and... Um, I was pretty blown away. It felt like very early Modest Mouse to me. Um, oh, cool. I just love the way that those guys, the rhythm section works together and the way that guy plays guitar. Uh, then Sea of Eyes, who we share this practice space with, they're, they're playing second. How do you describe Sea of Eyes? <laughs> it's kind of like a... It depends on the show, honestly. They change up what they're doing pretty drastically, whether they're playing with a full band or playing with more like... Um, loops and that kind of thing. Yeah, it's really more avant-garde. Like, it's kind of like Theory Corporation meets like Muse... Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's just that they're like the biggest, bigger like comparisons out there, but it's very dancey, very transient. You know, they do work with Ableton and you know some some synthesized beats. So there's there's a pretty heavy dance element to it, and Adam's voice just really carries very well. It's pretty confident, it's pretty strong. Yeah. So those guys are awesome. And then Tomahawk Fox. I don't know how to describe them either. Um, well, we first somebody time. just told me about them uh, last Friday, so yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Yeah, we played with them for the first time, I want to say, in December of last year at Lion's Lair. Uh, the benefit show. What's that? At the Benefit Show. Yeah, at the Benefit Show. They were, uh, they were super talented then, then I saw them like three months later playing with the Cutthroat Drifters, and uh, they had grown enormously just in that amount of time, and their following had grown enormously as well, so they, they definitely have some momentum going right now. I love that girl's voice, too. And that's at the High Dive? Yeah. It starts at 9 o'clock? Yeah, 9 o'clock. The first two bands will have like 45 minute sets, and then the last two will have an hour. You have tour plans coming up to support the new EP? Yeah. We got a little tour going northwest. Um, still trying to fill in a couple blank spots, just going to pick up some DIY shows if we can. If we can't, we're going to just uh, do some camping in between shows and try to just enjoy ourselves because, I don't know, this has been a great last couple of months, but just trying to get everything finished all at once has been just nutty, so... If we just get away and relax for a couple days, that's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, we're going uh, up to Seattle and uh, out to Montana. Maybe some shows, a couple shows in Wyoming, you know, on the way down, we're looking for maybe like, you know, the Saturday night coming down. And then, you know, hopefully hopefully in all we can get six, maybe seven shows total. Well, now, last time you were on the show, you turned us on to the band Get Along. And I I mean, I dig them a whole lot. Uh, They're going to be our guests uh, this Thursday on the show. So thank you guys for that. Awesome. What other local artists can you turn us on to this time? You probably mentioned a couple of Tomahawk Fox. Yeah. I've got a friend named Brian uh, who's going to be releasing an album in October. He's just currently going by A Tribe of Blue. He's just a, oh. a single man project, but um, it's, it's hard to describe. I'd say, again, I'd probably throw out Muse as like a kind of comparison. Just a uh, guy has an unbelievable voice, incredible range. He records everything himself, drums, guitar, bass, piano, and... Uh, yeah, a tribe of blue is my next my next one that I would toss into there. Tribe of blue. Yeah. Cool. And honestly, since you started following like the podcast, I mean, you can be kind of relying on yourself to <laughs> introduce the, the local talent, man. I mean, there's yeah. so many bands out there. Yeah, I found there them. are. I have to give Arc Life a shout. You heard of Arc Life yet? Somebody was telling me about them as well. Yeah. I have not heard them. There's some buddies of ours. They uh, it's kind of like a collection of solo artists that have come together to form this. It's a mega group. Ben DeSoto who books the high dive and 
Okay. Brian's playing lots of bass drums, and Jesse Elliott plays guitar. He was in a, a band called These United States for a long time. And then, you know, um, uh, Natalie Tate, she's a solo oh, singer-songwriter. Yeah, she plays a lot of shows with a lot of folks. She plays guitar in the band. It's pretty, like, I went to that um, Twist and Shout, that 20th <laughs> summer, I saw the Shady Elders. Yeah. Yeah, and I saw Arc Life, like, right away, just because they were buddies, and then I hadn't seen them for a while. They'd been on the road, and then saw them at the Roof Tap, too, and I thought they were pretty killer. Pretty dynamic, great melodies, great harmonies. It was just real catchy, so... Definitely have to check them out, for sure. You know another one? This guy, uh, he goes by Rum Tum. His name's John. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of mutual friends, so I've kind of known him for about a month or two before I finally got to see him play. And I got to see him at UMS, and it was just... It, it really blew me away. It's like very sort of uh, Animal Collective. Mm-hmm. I got to know him through exposure with uh, um, Holy Underground mm-hmm. and Flashlights and, and uh, um, CCNN. But I, I haven't caught his act yet. I heard some stuff that he recorded and he had uh, had put out. So, yeah, he's very cool. You have a new single that we debuted yesterday on Local Mix Monday. Can you tell us more about that track? It's a remake of uh, one of the songs off Polycardiac? Yeah, uh, it's called Cardiac to Me. And um, at this point, that song's getting to be just about three years old from the time that I first wrote it. What can I say about the track? Now, the truth is that I got into a fight with my brother on the phone, my brother from the Cutthroat Drifters, and uh, got into a fight. We were just real pissed at each other, both of us like digging our heels into the ground. It was, it was about moving across the country, because uh, I was still in Michigan at the time. And then, after I hung up the phone, for the first time, and maybe the only time in my life, I just like grabbed a notebook, and I wrote out five verses just like that, and then it, the song was, uh, lyrically was written at least, so... What else do you say about cardiectomy? When me and Joe started playing it together, uh, it just became this entirely different animal, a lot louder, a little heavier, a little darker, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why we thought it was worth re-recording. And it definitely captures the emotion of your live show a little better mm-hmm. than the original, I'd say. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. Cool. Well, we're going to close with that track. Guys, thanks a lot for getting together with us. Right. And, uh, man, look forward to the uh, release show tonight. Thanks. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for having us, Mark. You got it. I can see you arguing With a ghost Shaking up your fist again Shake her off from your toes You know you're so much like your brother You put one thought from the other hand Start a soul Oh, if we die a little over time, what are you dying for today? You've got your Michigan and your name. Be
cold fists on the floor Don't let me forget that it's me the moment's for So who's our store and who's mine The pleasures of being weathered and worn And if it wasn't for fun Don't ever again put my hand on the gun In the wake of that moment You can trust yourself to truly see both directions Where regret's born and where your mind will be Before you own up, the bird is left to bleed alone And stuck in a moment you both do anything to leave And you know you did The bird wants to sing But because of you, kid She can't get enough wind under her wings You're left with the life to regret what you did She don't even get time to clean the blood off her chin Oh